So in this movie I'm going to investigate events, user events, uh, mouse enter, mouse leave, click. Uh, we're going to look at some commands like stop, play, hide, show um, and open web browser. And what I've got is um, the world and uh, a piece of ground and we're going to have on this a rotating wheel. So I made this object just a circle with uh, two rectangles as crosses and if I double click this we go into the editing mode of the wheel. It puts a bounding box the size of the animation um, or the size of the object and you can see here if I want to go back to the stage I'll go back to the stage. So when I do this I mean editing mode of the object and what I did before I converted it to a symbol I basically created my object in the stage and then converted to symbol. Before I did that I did some animation I um, tweened the rotate so I put a keyframe in the rotate I put that to one second and then I just did a full 360 degrees. So when this uh, uh, appears on stage it animates, it does one full turn. So this symbol has its own timeline and every symbol can have its own timeline and you can embed symbols with timelines inside symbols with timelines, inside symbols with timeline, inside the main stage which itself is a symbol with its own timeline. So here we've got a wheel, a symbol with a timeline and it plays just the once, um, but what I've done right at the end, I've put my playhead right at the end, and just here I've clicked Control T. Um, I get it. Yeah, I get it there. And all I've done, if I just delete this and then go back, can I delete this trigger? Uh, delete. Okay. So all I've done is put the playhead at the end. So when the player gets to the end, I want it to go back to the front and just seamlessly do this. So, play head there, I press Control T for trigger. I want to play back and I want to play from. Um, and it's this object here, the rotating wheel. And just double click. And I want to play from zero. So it goes back to the beginning. So let's have a look at how that works. If we go back to the stage, drop this on, Oops, drop it on there. So we're going left to right in this movie. So my object is rotating. Now what we'll see is in Internet Explorer it becomes quite difficult to uh, to do this. So I'll be going into Chrome um, <coughs> as we're going along. So um, I made the mistake. <laughs> I'm always doing this. I made the mistake of putting the playhead not at zero. So if we put the playhead there and then press play, um, we can see that it plays for the longest item. This chevron business here is actually telling me that in rotating wheel 2 there is uh, some action. It's got its own timeline and even though there's nothing happening on this timeline it's looking at this timeline and saying the movie is at least that long. Okay, so what I'm going to do over let's say four seconds um, is animate the position of this so I'll keep X, Y. I'm going to animate the X. And over four seconds, we're going to move out to about there. So the idea with this now is that it moves and plays. But it was skidding because the animation preview is not looking at the code. So if we do control and enter, we have the code running now. Okay, so that's good. 
So what I've done is made some buttons um, stop the wheel button. Um, and you can see it's just a round corner rectangle with stop wheel. And we're going to just drag that onto here. And I'm going to make it so that this stops the wheel itself from spinning. It won't stop it moving across, it'll just stop the spinning of the wheel itself. So, the first thing is it's going to be a button, so we'll go to cursor and do the pointer. So, when we run the movie, let's do that again, control and enter, when we run the movie we change to a pointer. Now, we're going to put some code on this. So we can select it on stage, which selects it here, selects it here, and we can click here or here to open the actions panel. So, oops. Um, if you move it and that this disappears, all you need to do is click plus. And we can add, um, well, I'll show you. Uh, we're going to do a, a click on this and it adds a click. We could do um, a double click and we get double click, click and these tabs just become um, editable and selectable. So, <laughs> on the click of stop wheel button, this item here, what we're going to do is control the playback and we're going to stop either the stage or you can see this arrow one of these objects here um, it's the rotating wheel we want to stop so we go inside this symbol and stop its playhead so double click that so we're going symbol is the the main stage we're going to get an object which has the name rotating wheel 2 uh, rotating wheel 2 and when we get there, we're going to tell it to do something. Uh, stop. So, let's run that. So, you can see it stopped rotating. We've affected its playhead, but the main playhead is going along. So, what we're going to do then is um, stop the timeline. So, we'll click this and this to stop the wheel. So again, we'll go to select a proper button pointer. And then whilst we're here, it's stop the timeline, go to some code. We're going to click. We're going to control the playback. We're going to stop. And we, we don't want any of these. We want the stage itself. So double click the stage and we're stopping the symbol, the main stage. So if we go there, we stop the wheel, we stop the timeline. So wouldn't it be nice if we didn't have this and here, the code for this, stop the timeline, had not just stop this timeline, but also controlled the playback. We're going to stop it, not at the stage, but of the wheel button. So, uh, sorry, not the wheel, the rotating wheel. So we'll just get rid of a space there. So what we're doing is both stopping the main movie and stopping the button as well. And I've dropped this button away so we can't see it. <coughs> right, so that works. So, when I made these buttons, um, I made one button duplicated. Um, so let's just um, take this stop wheel button. So if we look at this, if I right click, I can duplicate. And then um, if I come into here, obviously I can call it um, thing. And if I double click here, I edit it here and then I can go in and edit the text and 
edit that. So I, I basically get the same text, same background, um, and I can just basically copy them up and then just change them. So obviously I don't want uh, delete. I don't want that. So now what I do want is a start timeline, which is going to do the exact opposite of the stop timeline. So click on there. This is a start timeline. Click some code. I want on click, I want to play back, play the current stage. I also want to control the playback. <coughs> Excuse me, play the rotating wheel. Okay, so let's see if that works. Stop, start, stop, start. Okay, so that works. Now let me just put this back. I'm not going to use this, but what I'm going to do is make it so that this object here, when the mouse enters, this disappears. And when the mouse leaves, it reappears. Okay, so we'll need to get this by name, but this is the object we are going to apply code to. So we'll go to the rotating wheel and either again here or here. Let's do it here this time. And this time I'm going to do a mouse enter. So if you want to do a, an advertising banner where you uh, sneakily catch the event as the mouse enters instead of clicking, um, well, that would be very sneaky. So what, <laughs> what I'm going to do is go to the hide show and I want to hide on the stage the stop wheel, stop wheel button. So I'll double click that. But you'll see, oh, I don't think I double clicked it enough, so stop wheel, but I could also do something, I could hide the text. So, uh, in the symbol, um, make a variable of the stop wheel button and then hide it. Uh, so that's on the mouse center. Uh, I'll add another one on the mouse, well, we'll try that now. Now, because I haven't got a mouse leave, I've got no logic to bring it back. So that's the next thing I'm going to do. Um, just click here. And so, new line. I'm going to hide show. I'm going to show an object on stage, which is the stop wheel. Oops. Stop wheel. Okay, so. We'll run that. Oh, looks like it's broken. Let me just try this with Chrome. All right, so I've broken that. Let me just see how I've broken it. Oh. I didn't make a mouse leave. Okay, so when the mouse enters, I want to get rid of that. Um, it was hiding and showing, so nothing happened. Um, <laughs> newbie mistake. Um, so I've got this that on mouse enter, we hide it. So what I want is a new mouse leave. Once you've got one on an object, it won't let you do another one. So now on mouse leave, I'm going to hide show. I'm going to show an object on stage, which is the stop wheel, which is this one. So that should work now. It does indeed. So what we're going to do, just to show you that we can add as many different uh, event handlers on here, click back to them, go to the rotating wheel, and I'm going to have a third which is now a click, click, mouse leave, mouse enter. Um, and let's just have a look at rotating wheel, uh, rotating wheel space station. So let's assume that when we click the rotating wheel, we go to 
here this Wikipedia page so grab that and we'll just put that over there for now so this object I'm going to on click uh, link to a new browser page because remember this animation is sitting in a web page or it is its own web page so I'm going to link to a new window hence we get the uh, comma quotes underscore blank quotes and the replacement here is with the Wikipedia link and now when I work this um, if I just come back to here or maybe not let me just go to running this oh, start again control new line and click it opens up a new browser page for the rotating wheel space station so that's it um, controlling the timeline and controlling objects within objects um, if we were to let me just go up to here if we were going to have bury bury this symbol inside another symbol that had um, its own timeline all we would do it would be drilling down it would be like a car dot rotating wheel two dot click car dot rotating wheel where car was the main movie um, symbol rotating wheel was inside the timeline of that car symbol and mouse enter was the event that we were wanting to trigger so that's it thank you very much